Hey YouTube, thought I'd do another quick video here. Uh, Kennegan 2.0 did a video the other day and he's talking about how his entire channel has been demonetized. And not only that, but his view counts are being suppressed and as, as long as with his su su subscriber uh, counts being suppressed. And um, I just did a little comment here. I says, well, the easy solution would be to tell everybody that the Archangel Michael appeared to you and forced you to say a Hail Mary to save your soul and then admit that you're a falling angel and show male and female sex organs in every video like Jonathan Cleck does and boom, no problem. Your subscriber counts will blow through the roof and uh, on the other hand, those exposing his wacko butt will suffer the same fate as you. Thus, I feel your pain. Now this is in uh, 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 Firefox. Now, you see my comment there because I just read it to you. And then if I go to um, Google, guess what? My comment is not here. Okay, so this is just another form that uh, YouTube is using to suppress, uh, you know, people that are out there trying to expose the truth. They're, they're pulling out all the stops. Um, so, the, the thing is, is if you go to new comments, new comments, which my comment is three days old, um, you can see it way down here at the bottom. And it has, a, it has a like and a love from Kennegan himself. However, if you go back to uh, uh, top comments, again, it's not here. Bear with me because I have a point. Okay, it's not here. Yet, on the top comments, there's a comment two days ago, no likes, no loves, no nothing, but yet it shows up. So that's just what I wanted to prove to you that you know YouTube stacking the deck and they're backing up these false teachers and these false prophets. Now, I got another uh, video here that's just it's almost comical because I got two false teachers arguing with each other. And um, I'm going to move this over here. Uh, Rap the news, which is a, the epitome of a false teacher. He's a racist. He's a uh, follows the Black Hebrew Israelite doctrine, and he's attacking uh, Global Witness, which <clears throat> needs to be attacked because Global Witness is as satanic as it gets. Um, he's another guy that pushes this serpency doctrine that we're all of the serpent, and uh, you know, just like Kleck does. So here's a quick little comment that. Uh, rap made in regards to global witness and I want you to hear what global witness says because he says you got to turn it upside down just like Cleck. I mean these guys must be in the same friggin coven or something here we go listen to this you have to turn things upside down just like scripture says just like Isaiah says and you have to look in the dark places the dark places where the is where the truth resides <laughs> and you can't avoid these dark places you have to turn things upside down you know firsthand with your lucid dream ass here we go you go. have to turn things upside down just like scripture says just like isaiah says and you have to look in the dark places the dark places where the is where the truth resides and you can't avoid these dark places. And See, there you go. He's telling you to go to the darkness, go to the darkness, go to the darkness, because that's where the truth is. Look at Kleck's containers. Have you ever seen anything more satanic looking, more dark, more creepy? He's always talking about turning everything upside down. Look at the cross that Jesus went to as your key to freedom. Turn it upside down. For clarification purposes, so you understand, the key to the kingdom of heaven is not an upside down cross because that's what Satanists use. The keyhole is shaped like a cross. Put the cross in and then turn it upside down and the bolt retracts and the door opens 
and there is the kingdom of heaven. So there you go. Um, I, you guys might have noticed that I was offline for about 24 hours. I, you know, this is this is hard to believe. I mean, I I'm still shaking my head over this. Somebody climbed our telephone pole and cut our internet connection. I kid you not. Hand on the Bible. No liars go to heaven. I understand that. I am not lying. Somebody climbed our telephone pole and cut our internet connection. I'm telling you, the world is getting as wicked as it can possibly get, and it's not looking good. I mean, I mean, on the world stage, it looks like we're about ready to go to uh, um, war with Iran. Uh, it looks to me like they had a Gulf of Tonkin incident with these uh, uh, attacks on these oil tankers. And um, I think it's a wag the dog scenario, to be honest. I think uh, with all the infighting in Washington, the deep state's worried, Trump's worried. Trump hasn't gotten the support from the general population he should have. I mean, besides lip service, a lot of lip service, but no one's backing him. And I think he's, I think he's collapsing finally. But I gotta give the guy kudos for, for fighting and slugging it out as long as he did. A lot of people argue with me. A lot of people say he was wicked from the beginning. I don't think so. But I think that uh, that, that, that the attacks have, have taken their toll. And I think, and I've warned many, many, many times, you know, you got to support him, you got to support him, you got to support him. And where's the real support? I mean, he's been hammered unmercifully. And um, so I think we're in serious trouble. Uh, take it. Take for example. You know, he's talking about the border, and he's right. He's 100% right. You have to control what's going on at the border. Uh, if you don't have walls around your city, then your, you know, or your country, you don't really have a country. And um, right now, there's more illegal immigration going on or coming into the country than there's ever been. I mean, I read the other day that uh, 5,500 illegals are entering the United States every day. 5,500. Okay? And they're just catching them and turning them loose into society. And um, they said that, you know, they tell them, well, you know, you're seeking asylum, but you're going to have to wait for a hearing, and a hearing is going to be two to five years. They say 97, excuse me, 87.7% of these people never show up. They never come back. So, the, the, you know, America's been sold out, and uh, it's getting really ugly. And I warned about this um, years ago. I did a a video entitled um, We Are Being Invaded. I could see it, clear as day. I just thought I'd tell you that uh, we're being invaded. Yep. You know, there's all this talk about Russia and China and Iran and this country's coming after us and stuff, but, you know, I don't think that's the biggest threat at the moment. I mean, I'm not saying it's not a threat, but. We are under a massive demonic invasion at the moment. There you go. I called it four years ago. So I don't know what more to do. I put the videos out. YouTube suppressing them. They hit. It's nothing but likes for a couple of days. Then slowly but surely the, the Kleckite trolls start filtering in. And one by one, you know, dislike dislike, dislike. Uh, I don't know how I can have more of an impact in this scenario. And I see Cleck as happy as clams. You know, he, he's pushing a satanic doctrine. He's getting the support of YouTube, just like this Global Witness guy, just like this Rap the News guy. And it's all about the money. But you know what? There's gonna come a day when they're gonna be throwing the money, the gold and the silver right in the streets. So I'm warning you guys. I'm warning you, Rap. I'm warning you, Jonathan. I'm warning you, bros, Derek bros. 
You're gonna burn, man. You're gonna burn. Uh, to wrap, Galatians 3.28. There is no Jew. There is no Gentile. We're all Israelites if we're in Christ. And we're Abraham's seed and heirs of the promise. That's it. But uh, wrap the news, he's anti-Paul the Apostle. Just like Global Witness. Both of them claim that he, you know, Paul's a false apostle. And they're, they're smoking crack. They cherry pick the scriptures, just like Jonathan Cleck does. You know, Jonathan Cleck, his, his tool is to use the strong concordance and cherry pick the verse that he wants. Um, he's always talking about Psalm 82, and he's talking about we are gods. Well, that's, that's in reference to the divine council. Look it up. Michael Heiser, PhD, Hebrew scholar. Look up his videos on the Divine Council. It's all there. Jonathan's got it all wrong. And people are eating it up. And a lot of people are gonna burn. So with that, I've got it short. And uh, hey man, if you like what I do, share the video, thumbs me up. And uh, I'll keep doing what I'm doing until the last day. Love you mean it. I can do anything for you. Let me know. Oh, and as far as the, you know, feeding the kids the next time around here, the kids, it's, I've been asking, I was like, what's going on with the kids? She said, they're on school break. They're on vacation. So that's the reason we haven't fed the kids. So we're trying to figure out um, how to get around that because we've got to figure out how to get them all together. So uh, I haven't forgotten that. We're still prepaid on that. We don't need any more donations. The money's sitting there. We just got to figure out how to make that happen. So with that, love you. Take care. Stay close to Jesus. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Read your Bible. Listen to no man. Um, I'll do my, my, my best to try to help you and coach you and teach you. But I, it, it, I'm, all I'm going to do is point you straight to the Word, not a strong concordance. Take care, folks. Bye.